what's going on you guys appreciate you guys being back here for another one uh, the other day I was out here in the side yard shooting at 50 yards with my uh, Savage FBSR the hunting rifle and kind of mentioned on there that I had some plans to get a little more I don't know accurate uh, 22 long rifle that I could kind of uh, trick out dress up make some changes to that would sort of resemble somewhat the ergonomics of my PRS rifle and uh, this is what I decided on this was delivered to the gun shop the other day uh, this is a CZ 457 this is the pro varmint suppressor ready version right now this is just straight up how it comes out of the factory um, I put a DIP uh, scope base on it 25 MOA um, and one of their aftermarket bolt knobs and that's all I've done so far threw my bipod on it screwed suppressor on put a vortex on it that I had laying around and uh, this is how it is right now and there's a good chance this is the last video that you'll see of it setting up like this so already got some parts coming um, got a chassis coming for it and a few other things so gonna kind of as time goes on gonna kind of make some changes to this and want to bring you guys along how it looks right out of the box pretty much this is my first day out here shooting it I've already shot about 100 rounds just slapped a new clean target on down here at 50 yards shooting some um, just some bulk junk ammo uh, Winchester 36 grain it's one of those 555 packs and then uh, before we close out the video I haven't shot any of this yet but I do want to shoot some of the SK uh, rifle match just to see how it does um, what I've seen so far is some groups with this junk ammo bulk ammo it'll throw a hell of a group and then the next one just might blow your mind like why can't you why, why can't you do it again but that's the way bulk ammo is so um, we'll run it through its paces here some more and uh, like I said just having fun with this you know want something not only that you know I can shoot here in the side yard have fun with but um, you know I've got plans to stretch it out out here make a little bit different of a range setup out here and uh, can really get into some PRS type training and, and stuff like that with the 22 in the side yard doesn't scare my dog near as bad and um, just a lot easier trainer set up much cheaper so we're gonna shoot some groups here shoot this Winchester first we'll go take a look at that target and then before the end of the video we'll shoot uh, some of that SK and go uh, top left red dot here See, that was one of those that got away. Alright, let's run down there and see what that looks like. So really having fun with this little 22 so far. I knew I would going into it. I've always loved 22, but I've never had one, never owned one that I thought I could really pull some precision, precision out of. Man, it's wet out here. But I uh, bought this and that's what I have in mind is to See what kind of groups we can shoot and just have a good little trainer. So let's see what this first group did. You can see here, good clean target. Shot that top left dot. I mean, not not a bad group, 50 yards, bulk ammo, five, five shots there. Um, we're gonna shoot some more and then uh, we'll see what that SK does. I'm gonna shoot one more with this Winchester. Do another five rounder. Five round is what came with the rifle from the factory. Uh, I did place an order for a 10 rounder. And I think that's gonna be here on Monday or Tuesday. 
So that'd be nice because this kind of sets flush with the bottom. 10 rounder will give you a little bit to grab a hold of. Magazines for these CZs aren't easy to find right now. This is just an old uh, Vortex Strike, Strike Eagle 3 to 18. It's a second focal plane, so gonna have to change that at some point. And it's MOA. Definitely want to get a mill scope for this. All right, we're gonna go top right this time. Winchester again. All right, that group wasn't near as good. All right, I went ahead and shot just a couple more groups with the Winchester. I've got the SK rifle match loaded up in here now, and uh, we'll go we'll go bottom right on this one, and then I'm going to save bullseye after I get this fouled up a little bit with this SK. We'll see what she does. One more. Not bad. Sounds a lot better. Pretty quiet. All right, we're gonna go for uh, the bullseye one last time here with the SK rifle match. Like I say, if you guys kind of want to follow along and check out this thing transforming, a lot more practice with it, make sure and subscribe. Tell other people about it. Appreciate you all watching, being along on the journey. Just went across 14,000 subscribers and having fun. All right, center bullseye, SK rifle match. Can take these, take this Air Pro off now. But. Definitely shoots lower, that's expected. Not bad, not bad. Like I said there, it definitely shoots lower, but that's expected. Compared to that Winchester. All right, first group that I already showed you right there. This is another one I did. <clears throat> this is another one I did with Winchester. Another Winchester. First SK, like I mentioned to you, definitely shooting lower. And then that last aiming here, grouping right there. Barrel's got about, oh, I don't know, 140, 150 rounds on it. Not even seasoned yet. We'll take that. Not bad. I kind of dig that. It's gonna be a fun little rifle. It's gonna be fun to see it change its appearance too. See what kind of accuracy that brings us. But yeah, appreciate you guys being along. I'm gonna lay out here and shoot some more. Like I say, once I get some changes made to this, um, set up some barricades and stuff like that. So if you guys wanna follow along and see it all come together, make sure and subscribe. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you on the next one. Bye.